Hello viewers, welcome to the new online course on Photonic Crystals, Fundamentals and Applications. I am Dr. Devabrata Shikdar from the Department of uh, Electronics and Electrical Engineering at IIT Guwahati. So in this particular course, we will be dealing mostly with uh, Photonic Crystals, we will study their fundamentals and applications. As you can see in this particular figure here, photonic crystals is nothing but a structure where the refractive index varies periodically. So in this structure you can see cylindrical holes have been drilled in a particular material where there is air in the holes and you have material outside. So that is how you are able to uh, modulate the refractive index in a periodic fashion and when you are able to do that, it can allow you to confine light in a very small space and that enhances the light matter interactions. So photonic crystals is actually one of the most diverse and versatile tool of today's photonics world and that is why this course has been specially designed uh, keeping these things in mind where we will target different applications of photonic crystals. In other words, you can say that photonic crystals are basically highly ordered uh, materials in 1D, 2D and 3D and they possess a periodically modulated dielectric constant. So to understand the fundamentals and the physics behind photonic crystals, in this course we will first look into the electromagnetism in dielectric media. Then we will look into the construction of 1D, 2D and 3D photonic crystals. We will discuss how we can develop photonic um, waveguides using the periodic dielectric structures. We will also look for photonic crystal slabs that can also work as waveguides. We will discuss about photonic crystal fibers which can be useful for long haul communication and we will focus on different applications of photonic crystals in the areas of integrated circuits in the areas of uh, optical communication etc. So when I am talking about photonics, this term might be new to many of you. Uh, in your school days you might be aware of optics and now we are talking about photonics. So there is a very fine difference between optics and photonics. So here you can see that when the size of the elements which are interacting with the light becomes comparable to the wavelength of light that domain is called photonics and where the size of the elements are much much larger than the wavelength of the light that domain is optics. So in this particular course we will be mainly dealing with this domain where the elements interacting with light has got dimensions comparable to the wavelength of light. So here are the different applications of photonic crystals and you will be amazed to notice here that you can actually make polarizer out of your photonic crystal. So this is again a photonic crystals which is basically an array of uh, cylindrical holes drilled into a say, silicon substrate and here is a particular waveguide or a line defect that has been introduced. We will go into every details of it. So this is a 2D photonic crystal. You can also make 1D photonic crystal which is basically periodically repeating layers of thin films that can be used as prism. You can use them for uh, beam deflection or beam steering. You can obtain negative index uh, imaging using photonic crystals. They are also used in distributed feedback laser diodes or distributed Bragg reflector kind of laser diodes. You can have ring resonator kind of resonant filters made out of uh, photonic crystals. They can also be used in switching, waveguiding and also long haul optical communication is possible using photonic crystal fibers. So here is a glimpse of all the different applications photonic crystal can cater to. It, you can develop sensors, you can use for catalysis, you can use for solar steam generation. They are used in solar cell to realize dielectric mirror, transistor, photonic devices, photonic diodes, 
color displays, smart detectors, optical insulators, light emitting diodes, polarizers, optical filters, lasers and many more. Here is an application of how you design a wavelength division multiplexing device for optical communication which are basically based on tunable edge states of valley photonic crystals. So, this is a very very hot topic of research which is very prominent in the field of 60 terahertz communication. If you particularly look into the sensor applications of photonic crystals, here you can see that you are able to develop chemical sensor, humidity sensor, surface wave sensor, gas sensor, biosensor, oil sensor and so on based on photonic crystals. So, how it works basically the photonic crystals 1D, 2D and 3D they actually can regulate the flow of light through the crystal just like in semiconductor you have semiconductor band gap in photonic crystal also you can engineer the photonic band gap. So, that will tell you which particular frequency of light is allowed through the crystal and which cannot enter the crystal that will be simply reflected back. So, using all these principles, you can actually develop all these different devices and there are a lo lot of applications in real world scenarios, something like you can use this photonic crystal fiber based physical sensors uh, for high electric electromagnetic field measurement, they can be used for structural health monitoring in bridges, you can use them for lab on chip application, for monitoring oil and gas field, distributed temperature sensing environmental monitoring, different security applications and so on. So, as you can understand this particular course will cover all the different applied aspects of photonic crystals and will take different applications to discuss how these things can be realized. Now, coming to the evaluation procedure, there will be an assignment each week through this course and the questions are typically MCQ types and towards the end of the exam, end of the semester, you will have again a end semester examination if you registered to go for it and in that case again there will be MCQs, okay, there can be some typical numerical problems, typically there are like 100 questions of one mark each and the exam duration is 3 hours and these are some of the assignment uh, examples. So, what do we expect? From the students, we expect that UG, PG students who are having background in electronics, electrical, physics, instrumentation, chemistry, chemical, material science and those who have you know interest in photonics, they must come and take up this course because this is going to give them a lot of different opportunities of learning new techniques in photonic crystals which has been in use for more than a decade now, but still has got a lot of potential to deliver for the future technology needs. So, I believe this course will surely motivate you to study further in this multidisciplinary field of photonics, which has got truly endless opportunities. Thank you.